Hey everybody, this is Limitless KRGN and we're doing another toy review this week. And this is from Ninja Turtles Nickelodeon from the company Funrise. And this is a Michael Shell racer from Raphael and this is technically the party wagon. Um this is for this is a four of them version that came out of this. This is kinda of more like a promotion at the time when the Ninja Turtles anime movie just came out last like a month ago. The Nickelodeon version came out. I haven't seen it yet. Seems interesting, but uh yeah. So let's get a better look at this and the box itself and the design. Um, it has a really cool, cool retro 80s vibe to it. A little bit modernized. Um, it captures like the 80s, early 90s Ninja Turtles. I guess this is to bring back for kids. Also, also for like those collectors who like Ninja Turtle stuff. Uh, there are four ver there are four vehicles, but of all of them, I went with the original Party Wagon, my favorite. You know, that's the vehicle they use in the cartoon. I love that. Um, and also has Raphael, a really cool character to add with that one, one of the coolest one, hot-headed, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but yeah, um, of course I'll tell you how much I got in, where I got in the end of the video, but yeah, so let's get a better look at this, let me open this baby up and get a better look inside. Alright guys, so, uh, I took out of the box, I already tested this a little bit, so this is one of those things you have to, uh, buy batteries on it, and this takes three, this takes two of three A batteries, um, actually says they're made in Vietnam, huh, 2020, interesting, I've never seen something that says made in, um, Vietnam, but yeah, uh, so the connection part, so the, the car itself has, it has no battery, you actually charge it right here with this little thing right here, and it has that kind of old style RC thing where you turn it to the side left to, you know, to turn more left or right, I haven't seen it in a while actually, you know, cars, you know, toys were, are, you know, RC cars don't do that no more. They don't have that option. So it's kind of cool to see that they actually brought that back for this. Uh, but the car itself is pretty nice. Uh, let me put this aside so you guys can get a better look at the car itself. I really like this. They did capture the party wagon. It even has the turtles in the front. Mine, it's, it's a little faded from the side. But then it has the teeth. I like that. And this thing's really cool. And then there's Raphael right there. Raphael itself does have no articulation, never like a little bit straight in the head, nothing like moving swivel swivel, nothing like that. But yeah. So that's that. Now let's look at the control itself. The control itself is very simple, but yet has that kind of theme of capturing Ninja Turtles with the shell of it. It's really cool, I like it. It would be cooler if this had a more better option to uh, I'll tell you that in a bit, what I'm saying right now, but just look at the design itself. Very simple, very plain. I like it. Uh, so, right here, this is where you charge the car for the party wagon. It would be cool if it had a better option to have this more, you know, fit. It, it's kind of like, I'm going to be honest, it kind of hangs out like this. Yeah, so it kind of, um, you plug it in, I guess, from the way from this side and have it like this. If I'm not mistaken, but it's kind of just... A little silly because even it's just this is focusing for little kids. Uh, this is really, <laughs> you can easily lose it. I wish it'd be cool if this was a little bit smaller and uh, it could actually go inside and close. Because I remember Hot Wheels did one with the uh, from the early 2008 or 9 Batman with the tumbler and it could actually go inside. It was such a really cool gimmick. Uh, not Hot Wheels RC, but yeah, this one it's kind of just this even says in the title micro, so I'm just kind of like. Yeah, I don't see that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what that connection goes like this. Uh, very simple. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, to turn it on, to charge it, you have to have a little switch here that turns that on. And then you open this. Also, you got to turn this on, if I'm not mistaken. There, it's, it beeps right there. Let's do that one more time so you guys can see that. A little, there, a little, like a little flicker. And then, if I'm not mistaken, you click this in. I feel like I'm going to break that. But yeah. Now, it should be charging now. Okay, so I had to turn this, the car off, in order to trigger their charging. And like that is actually starts charging. So again, you have to turn this little RC car off. Uh, 
and then that light will turn on it's telling you it's charging now it usually takes about four or five minutes to fully charge so let's do that but you guys are not going to experience that so you guys don't have to, to deal with that uh just like that i'm going to charge it right now oh right guys so it's charged so let me turn this baby back on and just like that it have power so let's show you right now this is left right left right left right forward backward forward backward you see this kind of hard with this kind of floor because I'm using this for the filming area. Let's test this in the more flower floor. Alright guys, so let's talk about the good and the bad about this toy. Um, I'm going to go with the bad first. So again, this is for a small kid. It's, you know, at the end of the day, this is just made to focus for a small kid. It's very simple and genetic. It, um, it doesn't do that much. It's just an RC control card for a small size. You know, for a little kid, it's perfect. You know, they don't mind, you know, well, <laughs> you know, today, they, today, kids are getting more into, like, playing with the tablets and, you know, online and, you know, all that crazy stuff. But, uh. It's cool. It's more, even it's been focused for kids. You can tell that the company, Nickelodeon, is not dumb. They mean to focus, you know, for people who grew up with the nostalgic of the Ninja Turtles. And that's why it has that kind of party wide and capture to it. And it has the 80s, early 90s cartoon version of the Ninja Turtles. But it's very, again, it's just for kids in the end of the day. So it doesn't have that many function wise. And even for kids, it's kind of silly for me because. Because um, this is meant for kids, right? So it's focusing for the kid to take it with them wherever they want. They're going to go traveling with their parents or just going into the store. So it's, I'm assuming it's designed for them to take. But it's kind of silly how it's two pieces instead of being like a... Kind of like a combine and click on so he can take it and put it in his pocket or his little bag. And uh, to charging it, it's also kind of uh, a little silly because... This feels like it can easily break over time. You know, especially for a kid... It's, you know, they're going to struggle charging this. Um, it's just still kind of an old style to charging a, a, a little RC car. Because over the years, they have updated to the point that you could just click it on and start charging it. So, uh, it's kind of weird that they kind of went backwards with this kind of toy. But I'm thinking because of the price, that's why they did that. I'm thinking it was one of the more, little bit more advanced. This would probably have been more expensive. Maybe like up $30 and up. But for the price, I'm thinking that's why it is how it is for simple. So... Keep in mind if someone wants to get this for their kid to take with, take them to take them out with it, going traveling or something like that, it is gonna be a little pain in the butt because these two pieces can get lost. Especially this piece. I know this piece is a little bit bigger, but this by itself and if you think oh maybe it holds on and clicks on and becomes one piece because you know that'll be cool. Um but no, it's nothing like that. So it's kinda like just kinda silly in their part. I wish it was a little bit more um I'm thinking this is meant for like to display like this, and it's not bad. But even displaying it looks kind of off a little. I'm putting it's just weird, especially with this hanging out, and it's kind of clear red. I mean, think it's representing the for Raphael, but I don't know. Maybe it was, it's just a little off for me. Even it was uh, even maybe it, it, I could put it like this, and it went up like this, It'd be like this, would be interesting. But even that, it's just it wasn't really designed for this. It's just it's just a weird design. Uh, you know, they could have got a little bit more imagination with it, you know, made it a little bit tighter, so click on, stay on. This could have been more like, like a slide up and click on, so it could be like, for the back a little. I don't know, it's just very simple. Uh, for a special kid, I don't know, I think it's maybe a pass for little kids so as a gift. Uh, for people, now, the positive for me about this is the nostalgic only. That's the only thing, is the, the you know, the start, you know, 
something from my from my childhood, you know. RC cars from this mall, you know, they are from my past, especially with this part right here. But one of the reasons, like, you know, I got this is because I, I do love the original 80s and 90s cartoon from the Ninja Turtles. I love the Party Wagon, and this really does capture a nice version of it. And it's small for me just to display, and that's the main purpose for that. I'm going to have the display like this, probably. Or maybe with the close up and just like this. But even this is kind of hard having it like this, maybe. Um... Maybe something like this. Uh, I just, it's kind of, you know, just for me to display. That's all the reason I got this. Uh, because I know they came out with the other cars. And like I said, I'm only interested in this one because it does capture somewhat the party wagon. It is cool size. If I ever wanted to, I can actually custom it. Take the Raphael out. Put the shell on the top. Paint the, the tires gray or silver. And, you know, even weather a little bit to give it that more look as the party wagon. But yeah. That's pretty much the reason The reason I pretty much got this. So that's the only benefit of this. If you're a Ninja Turtles fan and you want to collect anything nostalgic from the 80s and 90s, this is a must-have to collection. But only this one of the whole line. I honestly only like this one. Now, uh, you guys curious where I got this, how much I got this. So this is supposed to be sold at, uh, supposedly at Target's and um, Walmart's. I have never seen them sold in Target's. I have seen these at Albies, uh, this grocery store. Like a kind of like a discount grocery store for, but not this one. This one I only seen it sold on Amazon for about nineteen dollars. I actually got this for half the, like about six dollars off because they're going through a sale because they're trying to sell these out already. They're trying to get rid of this line, and I got this for fourteen dollars with Amazon Prime. So I shipping was free. That's the reason I got now this. I wanted to get this, but I was holding on for it to get it for a more better price than nineteen dollars, and I did. Now you guys can get it for a way cheaper price than fourteen dollars. Kudos, man. It's a cool it's a cool piece to have to your collection if you want to collect something from the, you know, from that line, from that classic line. Because it does capture that road retro kind of like 80s and 90s Ninja Turtles. But yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is Limitless KRGNN signing out. Like it any way to help my channel out. Leave a comment, subscribe, put thumbs up. Any way to help my channel out. And like I said, keep on collecting. And adios. Bye.